Hi, I'm Ren Veda with Turbo Guitar. Never put steel strings on a nylon string guitar. We've all heard this a hundred times, but what really happens? In this video, we're going to show you what happens to a lightly built classical guitar when steel strings are installed. Since I saw a similar test where the bridge immediately ripped off the soundboard, I have run the strings through a small metal washer and drilled down through the bridge so the metal washers are inside the guitar under the soundboard and bridge strip. This way we'll be able to tune the strings to full tension to see what effect this has on the soundboard and on the rest of the guitar. The strings are slack right now. Hopefully you can see how this straight edge meets the soundboard. It meets nice and straight. The top is flat here. I think there, maybe a, there's, a, there's a slight bow behind the um, bridge. Ever, they're ever so slight. Now we'll check again with the straight edge. There's a teeny bit of a, bell, a, a dip here, sort of a concavity. You can see that. Oh yeah, oh, there you go. Yeah, you can definitely see it. Um, let's clear and let's look behind. Just to, oh, there's a little bit of a hump behind too. So the bridge is doing what we expected, which is to kind of strings are pulling forward. The bridge is starting to angle. Uh, there's a dip in front of the bridge and there's sort of a correspondent belly behind the bridge. Not pronounced. I mean the guitar is still playable. The action is not very high. Why don't we check back in a week and we'll keep you posted on how the guitar does. And so we'll know what the long-term effects are of putting steel strings on a classical guitar. Hit subscribe and the bell to get notifications of when our new videos drop. Thanks for watching.